Hey guys, my name's Lauren and in today's video I'm going to be doing a quick update on the ick situation in my tank. I've actually just been on holidays for the last 10 days which explains why I haven't done any videos or updates on the ick situation. If you do follow me on Facebook or Instagram I did do a little update just to reassure you all that um, all is well. And I had every intention to do a video before going away on the night before showing you everything that I did to prepare for going away but yeah, that didn't happen. So here we are. Uh, I'll tell you everything that I did before and leading up to going away and let you know how everything is going now. Uh, I got back about two nights ago. I'd make this quick video before work this morning just to let you all know how they're going. So if you haven't seen my previous video, I just talked through why I've decided to go about things the way I have. Yeah, you can check it out by the link up above here. Just wanting to basically just manage ick in my tank and see how we go moving forward. I've heard of a lot of success stories doing this so um, that's just what I've chosen to do. So before going away I was doing the polyp lab medic treatment. I think the last time I did my video I was at day 10 of doing that. So I got to day 20 and there were still signs of ick. Uh, maybe not as extreme but there were still signs uh, before I left. I managed to do the full 20 day treatment. I pretty much used the whole bottle on this tank uh, because it's so big. But I managed to finish doing that which was good. So that's done. So once I finished doing that I did a big water change. I siphoned all sand and everything. I put in a new UV light in my canister filter and also added carbon back into the tank to draw out any excess or leftover um, treatment in the tank. So I left the tank in pretty good nick. It was all super clean. All that needed to happen was my house sitter to hopefully feed the fish really well, which she did. Uh, probably a little bit too much to be honest. Asked her if she could send me a little video because to be honest I was a little bit concerned about the fish while I was away. And yet there was uh, quite a lot of food <laughs> being fed. As a result, um, hair algae took the opportunity to grow like mad while I was away. So all of yesterday I spent getting rid of that and uh, getting the tank looking nice again. But the good thing is, is they were overfed and not underfed. I think I would prefer that a little bit, <laughs> especially while they're going through what they're going through. Yeah, coming back today, I can notice a few little spots on my powder blue tang and a couple on my blue tang, but they're nowhere near as bad as they were before I left. I mean, it is still just one day. See how we go moving forward. But as you can see, they're all really happy and eating still. But yeah, they're the only two fish that I can see signs of ick on. Fingers crossed the number of ick is starting to die down a little bit. I'm gonna continue doing lots of water changes and keeping up with their feeding. I think they're doing pretty well considering all they've had for the last 10 days is just feeding. There was no maintenance or anything done on the tank. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how things are going for the moment. But yeah, just wanted to do a quick update on that situation as I know a few of you may have been a little bit worried about me not posting, um, thinking, you know, maybe all my fish have died. So I just wanted to reassure you all uh, that things are all good. I will do another update on the weekend on how the rest of the tank is going. I've made quite a few changes yesterday since coming back from holidays. So I'll let you know all the new changes that have been made. Also show you some gorgeous new corals that I got while I was up in Geraldton. But yeah, I'll continue to give you updates on how the it goes in my tank. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with coming back from holidays and the fish are all still active and eating. And yeah, the ick doesn't seem to be as severe as when I left. So fingers crossed we can continue on this path. But thank you so much for watching. And yeah, as I said, I'll do another update on the weekend on the tank as a whole, uh, as I have made quite a few little changes. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.